So I decided to make this video because after seeing the Star Wars fanbase's reaction to movies like Solo and The Last Jedi, I thought, holy shit, I saw comment after comment attacking people, attacking people personally, like Ryan Johnson and Kathleen Kennedy, saying they ruined Star Wars or ruined their childhood. Crazy, horrible, vitriolic shit like that that you wouldn't say to anyone personally. So I was really, really confused. Why? How could you possibly care about a movie so much? It doesn't make sense. So let's rewind a bit to when I first saw The Last Jedi and Solo in the cinemas. I had no idea a lot of fans hated those movies. I really liked them when I first saw them. I saw the flaws in them, but I still liked them. And most of the people I was with liked them too. But then I checked the reviews online. Oh shit, that's actually really high. Oh my gosh. There was review after review after review absolutely trashing these movies absolutely trashing them and i didn't get it these movies were well made the action scenes were well done the cinematography was beautiful the acting was for the most part solid these were well made movies how people were so angry about them i had no idea and now cut to the present. I wanted to make this video because I wanted to figure out why a lot of fans hated these movies. I thought maybe I was missing something. Maybe the movies were just really bad and I was just dumb or something like that. So I rewatched them with a more analytical eye. And they were as good as I remembered. Better even now that I was paying attention to all the cinematography and the music and all that. And I was pretty confident in that opinion. Because critics really liked it too. And those are people who have trained to judge whether a movie is well made or not, so obviously their opinion holds some weight. So I thought maybe the outrage toward these movies was more to do with the fans rather than the movies themselves. So I researched the specific problems that were commonly brought up by Star Wars fans, and this is the conclusion that I came to. The expectations that some people have towards these new movies are so high that not only will they never be fulfilled, to be fulfilled the new movies would have to be better than the original trilogy. And that is because a lot of the problems brought up by people criticizing The Last Jedi and Solo are also present in the originals. So today on, hold on, actually, what is this? I don't know what this is. Is this a rant? I guess it's a rant. I guess that, yeah, a rant. So today on this rant, we will be talking about why your opinion on The Last Jedi and Solo is wrong. Your opinion, it's wrong. It's just wrong and we're going to be breaking down exactly why that is no! before i begin i just wanted to say a few things about the prequel trilogy if you think that these movies are somehow worse than the prequels then i'm sorry but you're a fuckwit you're dumb the new movies are flawed sure they're flawed they have annoying characters, they have pacing issues, and they have weird out of place scenes that don't really have a reason to exist. But you know what else has all that? The prequels! Except in them, they are so much goddamn worse, it's unbelievable. Luckily you don't see all that many people dumb enough to say something like that, so I'm only mentioning them here just briefly. You know, the original trilogy are actually good movies. so. It makes sense to compare the actually good movies to the new movies which people say are so bad, but it's not fair to compare them to the prequels, because the prequels, uh, well, they're... I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. Not like here. Here everything is soft. And smooth. So yeah, that's why I'm not going to be mentioning the prequels again in this video. They're just, they're just the prequels. Just be unfair to compare them to the sequels, because dear God, they're just so much worse. Goodness, Han Solo, it is I, C three PO. You probably don't recognize me because of the red arm. A lot of people seem to hate porgs, and this one I do get. Porgs are dumb, they're cute, and they're only in a movie because they'll sell a shit ton of toys. 
But you know what else? Certainly in a movie for all those reasons. Fucking Ewoks. Now, when I said this argument out loud to some friends, they didn't all seem to understand my point. So I'm going to break it down a little bit. Porgs and Ewoks are similar because of the reason they are in their movies, which is to sell toys. Now I realize their origin stories, meaning the way they came to exist, or the way they came to be designed rather, are completely different. But that doesn't matter, that's not my point. The reason they were put in the final script and movie is the same, which is because kids will love them and they'll make a shit ton of money. And I can prove that. Did you know that Wookiees were going to be in Return of the Jedi in the place of the Ewoks? Yeah, originally that was the plan, but George Lucas had to take the Wookiees out for unrelated reasons. My point is, after Wookiees were gone, Lucas designed the Ewoks as much cuter than the Wookiees. Why not make a similar bestial, brute-like species to the Wookiees? They wanted the Ewoks to be cute, that was intentional. And why wouldn't you? The Ewoks are fucking everywhere, those things must have made a shit ton of money. And I guess with Porgs, they just wanted to do the same thing. Honestly, personally the Ewoks bother me more than the Porgs do. Because how much screen time do the Porgs really have? One whole scene plus a few shots here and there, that's fucking nothing. Compare that to the Ewoks who are consistently around for half the movie. The Ewoks take away so much more from their movie than Porgs do. The Senate will decide your fate. I am the Senate. This doesn't really have anything to do with the main point of the video, but a lot of people don't like how Luke was portrayed in The Last Jedi. They don't think his character was consistent with Luke at the end of Return of the Jedi. And I mean, they are right. Luke in The Last Jedi is very different to the old Luke in the original trilogy. But here's the thing. In universe, it's been 30 fucking years since the events of Return of the Jedi. Anyone would change a shit ton in that time. Plus, the Jedi Order was massacred under Luke's watch. Do you really expect them to be all hunky-dory about that and move on with life like nothing happened? Of course not, that shit's gonna change him. If Luke was the same in The Last Jedi as he was in Return of the Jedi, that wouldn't be consistency. That would be bad storytelling. Hello there. Another problem that people have with these movies is that the pacing is weird. Once again, that's true. The Canto Bite scene in The Last Jedi kind of brings the whole movie to a halt for a while, and Solo is just kind of a bit of a mess in general when it comes to the pacing, but the original trilogy is not short on pacing issues either. Let's start with Return of the Jedi. The first act of the film is spent in Jabba's palace, which I always find is a bit of a slog to get through whenever I'm watching the film. And it's even worse because it doesn't really have any influence on the rest of the movie apart from them getting Hound back. It's like pointless apart from that. And then, once we get to Endor and the final battle, the epic lightsaber fights and space battles are nearly fucking ruined because they are interspersed with scenes about those dumb fucking Ewoks. I swear to god I hate those things. Now I'm picking a Return of the Jedi a bit so let's talk about another film. I think I have an unpopular opinion on this, but am I the only one who thinks the pacing in A New Hope is kind of shaky? Like, I reckon it spends too much time on the Death Star. They get there and it's pretty exciting, it's a space station the size of a fucking moon, full of stormtroopers, so of course it is. And then they're just there for quite a long time, and it feels like it's leading up to something. And it is leading up to something, it's leading up to that uh, lightsaber battle between Obi-Wan and Darth Vader. But here's the thing, that lightsaber battle is the worst lightsaber battle in the entire saga, including the prequels. It is literally just two old men poking fucking glow sticks at each other. But apart from that, I think my problem with A New Hope's pacing is that out of all the Star Wars movies, apart from the prequels, but let's not talk about them, this is the film which, in my opinion, has aged the worst. I won't get too much into it, but basically the movie was made for a 1970s audience, because, well, it was made in the 1970s. Since the 1970s, however, filmmakers have been finding new ways to make the movies more intense and more captivating, because that's what a blockbuster is. It's meant to be exciting and captivating and intense, and people have gotten better at making 
movies like that. And since A New Hope is so old, it doesn't use those words. And well, it suffers a bit from that, it just has, hasn't aged well. To be honest, I think in general, the Star Wars series as a whole has a bit of a problem with its pacing. In fact, I think every Star Wars movie, including the prequels, the originals and the sequels, have pacing issues except maybe Empire and The Force Awakens. So yeah, if you're going to criticise the new movies for pacing issues, then also criticise the original trilogy, because they're both kind of bad in that area. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Finally, a lot of people complain about the acting. This one seems to mainly apply to Solo, although I'm sure there are a lot of people who are complaining about The Last Jedi's acting. And actually, out of all the issues I've talked about today, this is the one I understand the least. I don't really feel like the acting is a problem in these movies at all. But for the sake of the argument, let's assume that it is. As you're probably all sick of me saying by now, the original trilogy has acting problems too. For example, in A New Hope, Leia can't decide if she's British or American. More star systems will slip through your fingers. Will somebody get this big walking carpet out of my way? If this was in the new movies, or the prequels for that matter, the entire Star Wars community would be laughing at it. And that's basically the case of all that shit acting in the original trilogy. Because it's in the original trilogy, people don't talk about it. Because everyone loves the original trilogy. Another example. This bit pisses me off so fucking much, I swear to god. In A New Hope, Luke comes home to find that his family has been fucking incinerated. And look at his reaction. Just look. You know how everyone talks about how bad Anakin's reaction to his mother dying was? At least he fucking reacted. Luke just stands there and is like, oh, okay. And it seemingly gets over it in an instant. Like it's never mentioned that he's in grieving, or even that he's sad. He just kind of goes on with his day. So, once again, don't criticise the new movies for bad acting if you don't criticise the originals as well. No, no, Mr. Stay! Mr. Got Jad and Binks! Mr. Your Humble Servant! I think no matter what, I'm gonna get people who completely misunderstand the point of this video, but I'm going to make this disclaimer here anyway just to cover my ass. I'm not saying that the original trilogy are bad movies. That's not what I think. I'm not saying that the new movies are good movies. That is my opinion, but that's not the point of this video. I'm not even saying that the new movies are better than the original trilogy. In fact, that's not my opinion. I am saying that if you are to criticize the new movies for all the problems I've listed in this video and a few more, then you shouldn't criticize the originals for the same thing. Now, if you just don't like the new movies and you're not a fan of Star Wars, then this video is not about you. I have no problem with you. If you do really not like the new movies, but you don't really have a reason for it, you just don't enjoy the new movies as much as the originals, I have no problem with you. This video is about the people who make and uh, agree with those one hour fucking videos deconstructing The Last Jedi and ripping it apart. Because for God's sake, this has gone too far. In conclusion, I'm not surprised that George Lucas decided to sell Star Wars to Disney. I'm not. After seeing just how cancerous the Star Wars community can be, I probably would do the same thing. Why would anyone want to make movies with a fan base who is not happy with anything that you do, that has unrealistic expectations, and then when their expectations are inevitably not met, they get abusive? Why would anyone want to make a movie for that fan base. I certainly wouldn't, and I don't think anyone really would. Anyone in George Lucas's position wouldn't make a movie for that fan base. Why would you? Okay, I think that's all I had to say. Thank you for watching. I worked really hard in this video. I think I probably spent about 30, 40 hours on it. I'm not sure, but Please give it a like and consider subscribing, it would mean to world, the world to me, I've never worked this hard in a video before. So yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.
By the way, please subscribe to Brach Gamers for some HSC tips and tricks. Thank you.